Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Music, and I'm here today to give you a very quick buyer's guide to three middle to top of the range digital pianos that you'll find on the market today. First of all, we have the Yamaha CLP675. Behind me, this is the Roland LX706, and over here we have the Kawai CA78. So all three of these models are second in the range. So the CLP675 is kind of the baby brother to the CLP685. The LX706 is the baby brother to the LX708. And the CA78 is also the baby brother to the CA98. So all three of these are second in the range. They're priced in the UK between 2,000 and 3,000 pounds, depending on which color finish you choose. So the idea of this video is just to give you a flavor of the different sound. I'm just gonna draw your attention to a few of the different design details that you'll find on these instruments and just hopefully help you kind of make a, a start to make a decision of the, which is the right piano for you. Of course, there's nothing better than actually trying these pianos out for yourself, which you can do in any of our stores. We have one in Eastbourne in East Sussex and one in Rygate in Surrey, where you can try all three of these pianos and the other models in the range is all side by side under one roof. So you know you're making the right choice when you're buying a digital piano. So let's get started with some playing. What I've chosen is just a very pretty little piece of music uh, to play on each instrument. Each one has just got the first piano sound that you get when you switch the instrument on. So I haven't gone in and made any adjustments to settings. These are just the first pianos that you hear when you turn the instrument on. So let's start by playing on the Yamaha CLP675. And now I'm going to play the same piece of music on the Roland LX706. And now I'm going to play exactly the same piece of music on the Kawai CA78. So as you could probably tell, there's a big difference in the actual tone of the individual piano sounds. Now, of course, each instrument does have various piano tones. We've just heard one of each of the piano sounds, but it does start to give you an idea of what you may like or may dislike between the different instruments. So when you're choosing a digital piano, it's not just the sound that's important, it's also the feel of the keyboard as well and how the keyboard interacts with the sound that you're hearing. Now, um, every digital piano does feel different because they all use slightly different mechanisms um, in their keyboard action. So what I have here is actually, this is a sample of the keyboard action that you'll find in the Kawai CA78 and CA98 models. Now, um, as you can see, this is a nice long wooden key, but what's really important is that it's got a pin here. Now this is the same as you would get on an acoustic piano. So what that does is actually give the uh, sort of seesaw effect. So the key is balancing on this pin and at the other end of the key you have a hammer 
which is again very similar to what you would get with an acoustic piano. Now other digital pianos, um, and this applies to the Roland LX706 and the Yamaha 675 behind me, they have long wooden keys, a bit like the Kawai as well. Uh, the length may vary between them, but it, they are a nice long key. So it's important uh, to have a nice long wooden key and, and the better quality digital pianos do have this because that actually gives you more control because the longer the key, at this end where you actually play the playing surface, you actually have more control over the expression you can put in the plane because the key is longer. We haven't been given a sample of the Roland or the Yamaha keyboard action. Um, I suspect that they are just a long key that pivots at the end as opposed to having the balance pin in the middle, uh, but I will stand to be corrected if that's wrong. However, from the photographs and the drawings I've seen of these keyboard actions, I do believe it to be the case that it's just a long key. Having said that, all three of them do feel very nice to play, um, and it's a matter of personal opinion what is the right uh, feel for yourself. So like I've said earlier, it's always good to come into a store like Bonner's where you can try all three of these pianos under one roof, side by side, so that you can make sure that you're buying the right digital piano. So if we just take a look at the design of the different instruments, as you can probably see straight away, the Roland is giving a nod to a traditional acoustic piano design. The LX706 comes supplied in two pieces, in fact, like the other two pianos here do as well. So if you want to take it upstairs or something, then that's a consideration to buy something that where the top keyboard section actually comes off and all three of these instruments that does. On the bigger instruments, sometimes they come in one piece. So something like the CA98 from Kawai or the Roland LX708, they're one piece pianos. They come supplied in a, in a big box on a crate and they, they are in one piece. They don't need any assembly. Uh, when you buy your piano from Bonners, we usually come and deliver it and assemble it for you as well and leave it ready to play. Um, but as you can see, the LX708 is the tallest of the three models. It does look like um, an acoustic piano in terms of its shape. And what I do like about the Roland is that the lid you, um, just has a little position here where it stops. So you can actually hide the control panel. And that's really nice. So to the untrained eye, the LX706 can look like an acoustic piano because it doesn't have the control panel showing. Now, Kawai have opted for the touchscreen control panel. And uh, this is great because it's a nice modern design that we're all used to with our mobile phone and tablet computers. Um, and the screen does turn itself off when it's not touched for, you can change how long within the settings it takes before it turns itself off, but it just goes black. So after a while you can't see it and it just looks like a shiny black panel on the left hand side. So again, it's a little bit like the run where the control panel does hide itself. Um, so as you can see, this is the CA78 in the polished ebony finish and it really is beautiful. This is a brand new finish for the winter of 2018 and it, it does look stunning in that finish. So if we take a look at the Yamaha control panel, this is a traditional push button design and it's a very simple layout and I do like the way that the Yamaha operates because it's very, very simple to use. Um, there's no way of hiding the control panel, um, but it's nice and neat and the graphics on it and the, um, the actually the writing is very, very easy to see on the control panel, so that's a good thing. So in terms of other features, of course these instruments are fully functional with things like Bluetooth, uh, audio recording, metronomes built in. Uh, some of them have learn to play facilities. Um, they have the option to plug in external things to, to plug into the speaker system so you could amplify the sound of your mobile phone or tablet so you can play along with things using those. So there are lots and lots of other features uh, which may or may not be important to you, but I hope that from this video, it gives you an idea of the, uh, the sound um, and the keyboard action and the design of the pianos. So best thing to do is come along to our store and try these three out for yourself. Please leave a comment below to let us know which one you prefer the sound of or the look of. Um, and if you want to talk about digital pianos, then please do give us a call. You'll find our contact details in the description 
the description to this movie. So thanks very much for watching this movie. If you've got any questions, please get in touch and I'll see you again in another piano demonstration movie.